So there are a variety of uh, different tissues then that you'll see here once you've got the skin cat in front of you. Uh, and the main thing to be aware of is that you want to make sure that you're removing enough tissue in order to be able to see the muscles, but you don't actually want to remove the muscles themselves. Uh, so there are some things that are fairly obvious. For example, we've got here uh, some adipose with some loose connective tissue. You can see that it's attached to a teeny little artery here, something that you will never in a million years have to identify on an exam, and that just sort of pulls off very nicely. And in some cases, that's really all you have to do. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is that as you pull, so for example, you might be tempted to just start tearing away at this particular uh, piece of tissue here. The thing to bear in mind is that you can lift up on muscles that are attached very firmly uh, on one side and not as firmly on another. And so it's usually a better idea to just, uh, I'll frequently use my forceps and just close them and use them as a probe or you could actually use a blunt probe, blunt probe, uh, in order to do that. So you just move along the margin uh, and break the thin fibers that are holding the connective tissue onto the muscle. Uh, some muscles will have more connective tissue on them than others. So for example, here we're looking at external obliques and you can see that there's just some very fine wispy you know, connective tissue that you don't really have to worry about. Uh, and then you've got other muscles, for example, down here with semimembranosis. Uh, you've got you know, more connective tissue uh, and you will want to remove that. Um, a few areas to be aware of. Uh, it's easy to start cutting into semimembranosis without realizing what you're doing. It is easy to also start coming up underneath these chest muscles. They are attached very firmly along the sternal side. They come up and they are going to attach also uh, around the humerus. And so they are loose. You can actually lift up underneath them uh, from the inferior border. And so the important thing to remember with these chest muscles is that you should start at the top and work your way down. Uh, the same is true here with latissimus dorsi. You've got a free edge that's simply bound down by some connective tissue, and so it's better to start at the top and work your way down. And that's going to be in general true. So here we have, for example, uh, one of the deltoid muscles. Uh, and in that case, it's better to sort of start at the middle, lift away you know, some of the connective tissue, and then you can find the edge right, and essentially remove the material from the edges. The big thing to remember is that if you grab into something and it doesn't give easily, stop, because likely it's not what you're pulling at as muscle uh, and what you risk doing is, uh, is tearing it. Uh, final thing, make sure that you're using forceps as much as possible. Do not use your scissors to cut away something unless you are positive that you are not trimming away muscle.